Good afternoon, it's Jim at Thunderbolt Locks, and I'm here today to give you some instruction on how to install a door contact switch. This is a spring-loaded contact switch that generally gets mounted in the door edge of a sliding door. And the purpose of this is to provide power and ground inside of a movable door. So once this door, when the door is open, the contact, of course, is not being made. Once the door closes, the contact switch that gets mounted into the front edge of the sliding door is going to mate and make contact to the, the plate that gets mounted on the B pillar. On the opposite side, on the back of this B pillar, there are connectors that allow a power and ground to be connected and routed through to your power and ground source in the vehicle. So once that's installed and your wires are routed through the vehicle, one of these will have power and one will have ground. When installing the contact switch, you have to make sure that you have clearance for these spring-loaded pins to move inside the door. So once these get plugged onto the switch itself, they have to have the ability to move in the door. So you want to leave slack in your wiring so that they don't bind. Once you locate the area that has a straightforward line between these two. The kit itself will usually come with an adhesive sticker that gives you a template on where to drill your holes. So once you stick this to the location itself, you're gonna drill a half inch hole for each of the pins to go through. And then you're going to make your contact connections for your wires, run them through. The kit usually comes with the Phillips screws to attach it. I like to use rivets, so we use an eighth inch stainless rivet. And once that goes in, the rivet gun will lock this in place. When you're lining up the pins, it's very important that the measurements that you make are accurate. So I would take, and once I find the flat area on both sides that will that, that give me room to mount, I want a horizontal mark between these two. Once you install the first contact switch, you have to remember that when this door closes, it's going to slide in. So this normally will make contact and then the door slides and you've, these plates are pretty forgiving. So you have plenty of area that you can mount that uh, or have the strike for these pins. So you want to keep in mind and watch the door close and you'll be able to get a center line and when you're mounting this rear plate a half inch hole will give you the ability for this to, to fit but you can oversize that you'll want to make it bigger so that you can fit your connectors it's difficult to solder leads onto these pins without overheating this. So once you have your hole drilled, you have the ability to move it around and line your contacts up before you drill your holes and put either your screws or your rivets in place. Take your time, measure twice, and drill once. Thanks very much.